So this is the place. This is it. You're going to love it. Il Michelangelo's. Dominic Cassio is the owner. Okay. And here he is, Dominic, Lisa Matteo. Hi, this Lisa. is Dominic Cassio. Welcome to Michelangelo. Let's Are we ready to eat? Let's go eat. Show right. the kitchen, please. Thank you. All right, so we're in the kitchen here. Chef Dominic, we're yeah. making chicken French, which yeah. I absolutely love, so I'm excited for this. Now, I don't see any flour here. I've made it before, I don't see flour. No, we don't have any flour today. Uh, Danny does suffer from the celiac disease, mm -hmm. so we're gonna make a gluten-free chicken French today. For the egg batter here, we have two eggs, some black pepper, some grated Parmesan cheese, and for the sauce, we have some white wine, lemon juice, butter, and chicken broth. I love it. All right, so let's get started. We need to do the egg batter, right? That's right. right. So we're gonna crack two eggs into this bowl here. I'm pretty good at this. There you go, All right. natural pro. We're gonna grab some black pepper. Okay. We're gonna sprinkle a little black pepper right in there. All then right. we have some Parmesan cheese. Ah, all of it, right? You gotta, you gotta you can put, put a lot throw of it in there. The cheese is actually gonna help thicken the egg a little bit. It'll coat the chicken since we're not using the flour. Very good, then we're gonna... We'll look at whisk, whisk step it up aside, a little. Oh, step aside, step aside, come on. Yours. In the meantime, I'm gonna grab my chicken here. That is the mother of all chickens. <laughs> look at this thing, they don't mess around here at this restaurant, okay. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this whisk out. Okay. And we're gonna put this chicken right in there. We're gonna move it around a little bit. We wanna mm. coat the chicken with the egg. And while that's uh, soaking in there, I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna turn on my stove. Woo, feel the heat. Put some oil in the pan here. All right. Dominic, is this Danny's favorite dish? Yep, every time he comes, he, he gets uh, chicken frances. So know? that has Just to like heat up. That. Yeah, we're gonna let this heat up first. So what are we gonna do as far as a side dish? What do you serve with this? Uh, today I'm gonna do a little risotto. Fine. So the gluten-free, that's fine? Gluten-free, mm -hmm. absolutely. So it seems pretty easy so far. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, very simple. I could do this at home. Absolutely. But I don't buy chickens like this. I have to find <laughs> out where you go food shopping. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna go from <laughs> okay. the front side to the back so you don't burn yourself okay. with the oil. There you go. Beautiful. Now we're gonna let that sit in there a little bit. Seems like it's uh, searing nicely here. So what I'm gonna do is just stick my tongue under there, and we're gonna give it a turn. So I see a nice little brown coating yep. around the edges. Absolutely, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna empty out this oil. Okay. Right into here. Ah, now we put our other ingredients Now we're gonna start with our other ingredients. So you can butter. start with the butter. Yep, take one of those pieces there. Then we're gonna go with the white wine. We'll take it off the flame for you. Now, we're gonna take some lemon juice, mm -hmm. pour it in. Not only it's easy, but it's quick to make too. Very quick. And then we're gonna take some chicken broth here. Okay. Let's do like maybe one or two, one and a half ladles. Then we're gonna sort of move it so it doesn't stick to the bottom there. I'm gonna cook it on the stove because I want the sauce to reduce, thicken up. Okay. You know, we're not gonna put any flour in the sauce either. So we want the sauce to reduce on its own to do the flame. And uh, every once in a while, to get an even cooking of the chicken, you want to give it a turn. To help the thickening process, you can put a little bit more butter. It's optional. Just to finish it off, a little salt, black pepper. It's Keep quick, moving. It's easy. And give you can it do it at turn. home. <laughs> Very quick. And that's it. All right, well, you finish this up. You're going right. to work on the risotto too? Absolutely. All right, I'm going to go check on them back at the table. Very good. Thank you. Nice, nice to, to meet you. you. Take care. All right. So what'd you think of the kitchen? The kitchen is great. The food smells fantastic. It does, it always does. I can't Dominic's wait. sensation. So how did the two of you meet? Dominic and I met about 20 years ago. <laughs> he walks over to me and he says to me, I'd like to dress you. Totally I had a guy. hoodie on and what he did, he was working for Brioni, which is a famous designer from Italy. Great, great suits. And he said, well, I'm prepared to dress you in $4,000 suits. Of course, I didn't have a car that cost $4,000. <laughs> so I said, you got it, baby, let's go. We became friends. I love him, my wife loves him, my entire family do. That's so true. That's, and it's mutual. You say know. something, sweetie. So no, no, I want to say, uh, Danny, uh, it's been... Uh, uh, no, I stay, please. Thank you. It's been a great pleasure knowing you for all those years and your wonderful family as well. It's very difficult for me to accept compliments. I'm going to break for a moment to say, Aww. look at this kid. I <laughs> know. She looks like Sophia Loren. You truly resemble just like Sophia Loren. Does she not? <laughs> yeah, so right. Again. Yeah, Sophia Loren, you know a lot of famous people too. I know. Well, Michael, Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. Yeah, Michael Jackson. <laughs> Michael very Jackson close for him. I mean, as a matter of fact, when Michael would come into the Hemsley Palace, he, you had no children at that time. Mm -hmm. They both met each other very early on in their lives. 
He was the man in charge of the entire floor. It was called the VIP section. So whenever Michael would come in, he had quite an entourage, of course, and they took the entire floor. He serves the public. He's there for people. He's there to do things for people. Uh, the food that he cooks, that his son cooks, he truly, uh, you know, mm -hmm. he, he truly means it. You know what I mean? It, it's important that the food is exquisite because he cares so much about the people that are consuming that food mm -hmm. that he's serving. What makes you enjoy coming here all the time? Well, because I love him and I love the family and there's mm -hmm. an opportunity for me to see them and also eat the food I eat. Mm -hmm. You know, I have to eat gluten-free and exactly. young Dominic cooks gluten-free. Any pasta that I have has got to be gluten-free. He, he's making me, me this wonderful chicken franchise. It's delicious. And it tastes like I'm not missing anything. Because I was, before being diagnosed with celiac, which is the wheat deficiency disease, mm -hmm. I ate everything. I love veal parmesan, I ate macaroni, bread, I mean all kinds of bread. I was an Italian bread lover. And then when this thing hit me three and a half years ago, I had to stop everything. But I found out that the food that I eat now is tantamount to the food that I ate then. The difference is this is more healthy. Much more healthier than the food that I've been eating in the past. And I feel a lot better about myself and my health, I feel, is a lot better too. Oh, <laughs> Dominic. Thank you, Dan. Wow. Chicken franchise. Chicken franchise. Absolutely. Uh, chicken alla so Enjoy everything. I love it. Thank you. Oh, Thank you so it. much. He went out of his way to do this. But yes. But he does it all the time. Let me give you a little bit of this. Can I serve you now? Yes, I love it. <laughs> oh, wow. Hold on. <laughs> okay. I'll give you Dominic's first. Okay. All right, darling. Let's see uh, if you're I can truly do making me hey, feel. All right. What an honor. Honey, you're so domestic. Oh, look at Not that. only you look like it, you serve Thank like you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, your turn. Oh, you're going to love this, kid. Look, oh, she wow. has done this I before. I smell it. <gasps> it smells fantastic. Taste it. So though. let's, we have to taste it. Let's do this. It smells delicious. Oh, my goodness. Mm. You know something? Just like I love the chicken, mm. he sat on it before he brought it up. <laughs> because I don't like it fat. Excellent. I it stay. You know what I mean? I like it so well good. This is excellent. Sensational. Mm. So good. Oh my goodness. Mm. Oh. And no flour, gluten free. I can't. I can't believe no it. No flour at all. You no. know what I love about it? You don't miss it's it. It's so easy to like. I can do this at home too. Very easily. Yeah. He adds cheese to it. He yes. adds olive oil and a few mm. other olive oil. Things. Yes. Delicious. Now, do you cook at home, Danny? I'm what they call a 30 second or a 30 minute guy. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> I make macaroni, I get some kind of weird sauce and I do it in 30 minutes and I put chopped meat in and gluten-free again, but I do pretty well. You mentioned this is a home, so thank you for this, inviting me into your oh, home. Oh, my mean, pleasure. It's been, the food has been fantastic. Thank Michelangelo's. you. Michelangelo's. Again, thing. thank you so much. <laughs> if you don't mind, I'm diving into this. <laughs>